Hello everyone, this is Cool Pro 195 streaming live with my Happy New Year 2017 celebration and this is the first celebration which I'll be doing for this sort of event that I have going on and this event will be done within two live streams a New Year's Eve celebration live stream and a New Year's Day celebration live stream although I can't 100% guarantee whether a New Year's Day celebration live stream would happen but We'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully it can, but at the moment, we're sticking with this. But anyways, welcome to my New Year's Eve celebration live stream of 2017, leading into 2018, where I'll be playing some Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for the PlayStation 4. And this will be the last live stream I do in 2017, which is, you know, quiet. Like, it's unbelievable, to be honest. But anyways, now to post in social media. I already have, like, the messages ready. All I gotta do is just send them off. Okay, that's all of them done on Facebook. Uh, posted on Discord as well. Also, by the way, Abdul's currently doing his own live stream. And it's a part two to an anime based game that he's currently live streaming at the moment. So yeah, that would be his last live stream of 2017 as well. And this is clearly my final live stream of 2017. Although this would be short for a New Year's Eve celebration live stream. I gotta say, hang on, let me listen. 2017 celebration is clearly my final live stream of 2017. Although Okay, that looks, that sounds decent. Alright, now I'm just gonna jump right into the game. And we are jumping into Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. And this time, you'll notice that the quality is different. Why? Well, if you've seen my recording test with my Elgato Game Capture 4K60 Pro, I'm actually using an Avonview HDMI 2.0 A splitter in order to output a decompressed signal to my 4k capture card specifically for 4k recordings and a downscaled 1080p signal to my Elgato game capture hd 60s going out to my tv and in also in order to get an instant an instant preview on my actual you know 4k monitor that i'm using for my gaming pc as i'll be looking at it through the, the actual Elgato game capture, the original Elgato game capture software. I wonder how this is going now. The, the actual Elgato game capture, the original Elgato game capture. Okay, I see some frame drops, but it's not too problematic. I think I've got to close some stuff, but which is, you know, hogging up some resources. So before I jump in, I'm just going to close some stuff. Might as well quit Skype. Mm. And I don't need that many tabs open either. Okay. See ya, people were live. And this would be quite a short live stream as well since I got a, a party to attend to at 8 p.m. GMT, so yeah. It's still running smoother, not gonna lie. But if it has problems, then you know. Ah. I'm sorry for the messages hard to read for you, Dexter, but just bear with. Okay, so is the live stream smooth for everyone else? And I might need to close off Discord as well.
Okay, four live viewers now. You know, I should view the live stream on my phone instead of my PC because that's like. But then again, my download speed has been. What you call it? It's being throttled, so. I think it's just a current issue going on. Yeah, the signal cut off for whatever reason. I don't know what the fuck happened there. But yeah. Anyways, oh, if I fuck could remember where the fucking Twitch app is on my phone. There it is. Okay, now to jump. There. Because that's essentially taken away from, you know, the download speed and upload speed. Yeah, I might as well mute my phone as well while I'm at it, so then... You don't hear everything repeating in the background, but yeah. But yeah, later on I'll be going to my uncle's house for my, for the New Year's Eve party that, you know, the family are getting together for. So yeah, this will be a short live stream essentially. Alright, it seems smooth on my phone, so I'm just gonna jump in and play. Okay, loading up, and yeah, I'll be playing Crash 1 just like I did in my previous test. But yeah. See, now the actual... Now the bitrate is running smoother because, you know, I'm not on... <laughs> I've literally taken the live stream off of... I've literally closed the tab for the live stream, and now I'm viewing it on my phone with the actual data. But yeah gonna jump right into Crash Bandicoot 1 I wonder how many live viewers I currently have, still 4 live viewers
Oh, that's better. Much better. Okay, yeah, anyways, as I was saying, I was gonna have guest commentators, but it seems as though everyone was, like, offline or online or whatever. But, you know, I've been having technical issues as well at the same time, so... <sighs> there we go. But yeah, there was an inst the instant game view was having issues, and then there's a mic issue, but what the fuck ever. Okay, right into boulders. But yeah, cheers, Gabriel, for pointing that out. It's been time. But yeah, Renegon GFS just joined the live stream. Man, like, if no one pointed that out, this live stream would have had fucking muted commentary for literally no reason whatsoever. It's strange because it wasn't muted earlier. Okay. But yeah, how's your year been, Gabriel? Wow. Oh god, oh fuck up much. Here we go again. I'm not sure if it's like whether I'm using two Elgatos at the same time now, considering I have to use both because of my setup in order to get these 4K visuals to show. Oh, hey, Classic Gamer X11, welcome to the live stream. Oh, yeah. I remember muting my no Dexter. I remember muting my mic because of the cutscene, but then I pressed the unmute button, but for some reason it didn't trigger. But then again, how could I not have noticed when I actually closed, you know, the, the tab for the live stream? I had to close it because it was taking up download speed. So. There's your answer for that. Yeah, you meant to say there was no commentary, not sound. But yeah, was I muted from what you call it? Was I actually muted from the beginning or... Well, not, not from the beginning, but I mean, was I muted from the game from the beginning of when I was doing the gameplay or something. Like, was it from that point? Because if it was, then, you know, I could at least try and repeat what I said. Like, during the commentary over there. But yeah, I sincerely apologise for these technical difficulties that I've been getting, but, you know, not gonna let them, not gonna let that bullshit, like, ruin the New Year's spirit for me. Like, let's just do this live stream with a nice, like, with a nice perspective for the new year, for the sake of the new year. Take you on a journey, girl! And there I go, commentating, I mean, quoting Alpha Omega Sin. I pretty much did that earlier as well. Like, when I was, like, muted when I wasn't supposed to be, but, yeah... You know, it is what it is. Classic Game X11 says, I only just joined, but is the game meant to be muted as well? What, the game's muted as well? What the fuck? You see, because I'm reading the comments off my phone as well. By the way, I don't know how a game is even muted because I can hear it from my TV. And it's actually playing through like, it's actually showing the volume play through the capture card, so I, there's no reason why it should be muted. Really? Well, that's strange then. That's strange then, Sam. 
can only hear me for some reason. Alright, you know, I might actually, you know, if it doesn't work, then I just might as well have to use the TV from my, I might as well have to use the audio from my TV, like in the background and turn it up in order for you guys to hear it. And let me just... Take up your guard and put it back on again. Okay, for some odd reason it does not want to play the audio Like the game for some fucked up reason But yeah, hey Andre, welcome to the live stream For those of you who don't know, that's my cousin hey, Andre Silver FDW Or on Twitch, Andre okay, Silver for some odd reason it does not want to play the Andre P Silver FDW Okay Right, now I'm going to try removing and then adding the source back on, see if that does anything. Alright, so I'll keep that thumbnail up while it's stationary. And then re-add the capture card. I literally never had this fucking problem before in my life. I never had this problem with live streaming ever. I think OBS Studio is just fucked up in its own special way. Okay. I'm gonna make that fit to screen. See if it does anything. Yeah, check my recording software, Andre. Yeah, and have it set up and everything. Okay, now go is not even... Now it's just probably deliberately not even picking up any sound. I have no clue why.
yeah, now it's not showing any game audio, which is weird. This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I literally don't see why it's not picking up like any sound from the HD60S. This is retarded. And I'll remove it and then open the game capture software itself. And then I'll see if it's playing any sound. Okay, there we go. Okay, now let me add it back in because this is fucking weird. Because like, it seems as though the, on the actual Elgato software, it was actually muted. But the thing is, before it was muted for a reason. Anyways, let me add it back. Okay, as it okay, so it's audio playing now. Hang on, let me just stretch it out. But for some reason, nothing's playing. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like, this is not what you want, especially in the new year. Ah, uh, I think it mistaked the input because now I actually see it going out. Now I actually see game audio. Let me just turn it down. Okay, is that audible for you guys? So I literally have no clue what happened there, people. Now I actually see game audio. Let me just turn it down. Okay, is that audible for you guys? You know, if this isn't gonna work, I'm gonna have to do it through a window capture instead because it looks like through a video device, it's just being retarded.
right, let me see if it's playing through the front at least. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, well, seven live viewers now, nice. But, you know. I oh, know, that's what I'm trying to get rid of. Okay, so that's not what I wanted. Okay, more configuration going on with this bullshit. That's a little better. Yeah, now I'm just trying to fill the screen, but you know, it's got its ways. Hang on, that. it'd be easier if I hang on. Nah, it won't be easier if I full screen. Maybe if I make this a little bigger. This is the weirdest shit I had to deal with, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. No god, it's retardation. being weird now. Okay, we're getting there. It's just... Oh man, I can't believe I have to do this on an occasion like this. Fuck this shit. Like, seriously. Or maybe we'll have added it as a game cap.
it. I'm trying not to crop anything up at the same time. Okay, that's at least that part sorted, just... Oh no, I was not meant to move that. Put that back to where it was, okay. Hope you guys are still here because I'm doing this for you, remember? I'm not just doing this for no reason. Nine viewers, whoa! But the thing is, Andre, if I do that, then there's gonna be an input delay, so then I will not be able to play the game. That's the thing, so I have to use the HD60S solely for the instant preview. Okay, so all I need to do is just move this a bit up now. That's literally all I need to do. It just has to be slightly up. Okay, almost there, almost there. Man, it's so weird how the software is still finicky at the same time. It should allow more space to edit. That's what they should do in an update for OBS Studio. Okay, that seems better. That seems better. You know, I'll just have it slightly down. Okay, yeah, excuse me for trying to make it fit perfectly, but... You know, it's something I can't help. Okay, it's better like that. Okay, now can you guys actually see I'm here? Yeah, I apologize for that crap, people. And let me check on my phone as well because it's just being funny. Okay, yeah, I see, I see the game fine, I hear myself fine, it seems to be running smoothly, so, let's just jump in. Although, the funny thing is that the pitch seems raised, but then again, slightly raised, but then again, you know, that's just technology, it does that sometimes.
Okay, it looks good, nice. We can finally kick this off. And the Elgato's having problems with cutting off. Okay, beat up the fuck out of Puppy Puppy. He's piss easy as fuck. Jump on top of him. Multiple times. But yeah, people. Shout out to Andre Silver FTW, aka Andre P Silver FTW, on Twitch. Whereas Andre Silver FTW is his YouTube channel, so feel free to subscribe and follow him. Subscribe to him on YouTube and follow him on Twitch as he officially got a gaming PC for Christmas, a custom a custom gaming PC. Which all the parts are custom picked and everything. And yeah. I could unlock Coco but then lag again. Ah lag, but still. But yeah, then again. Not much point. Shredded Nation says, yo, hey, welcome to the live stream, Shredder. Shredded Nation. You've come just in time right after I've fixed such a technical issue. Hang on, I figured I'd turn the audio down a bit considering it's... You know... I want to make sure it's not drowning out my voice at the same time because now it's it's using the desktop audio for the actual sound from the game so it's essentially picking it up from the software externally and now in and not internally through the capture card because considering OBS is having issues you know but yeah I took quick because of that um Glitch. Well, not glitch, but I span that Brio token away. Or well, I'm not playing 100%, I'm just doing this for fun, but still. But anyways. Ah. How to unlock Coco. You know, just for the fun of it, this is how you unlock Coco. After you beat Papu Papu, you go to Coco's time machine. You press X. It's next to the Papu Papu boss fight. Yeah, she asks. The game asks, do you want her to join your, your adventure? You press yes. But you know, that's just a demonstration. I'm not playing as Coco. But yeah, anyways, now we can do this shit for real. Back to Rolling Stones. Since Classic Gamer X11 asked... Oh yeah, I sent Triple Z the livestream as well, but then... I saw the update video that Triple Z made on YouTube. Like, I'm not sure if the Triple Z EXT would be would either have time to watch this or be doing like his or her own thing. Like right now for New Year's Eve. You know, as I mentioned earlier, like I just have a party to go to later. And I'm sorry if you guys hear the audio doubled, but that's coming from my TV and my headset at the same time. Because now I hear the TV, I mean, now I hear the audio through, through both perspectives. Instead of just the TV. And I'm talking about the game audio as well. But yeah, can you guys actually hear me decently without the game audio drowning me out? You know, I might as well keep this set up. You could play MOM later, or Crash Mind of a Mutant. You know... Yeah, I could, but at the same time, like, I wouldn't have much time because, you know, as I said... Like, later on, like, I have a party to go to anyway, so this will essentially be just a short live stream. Fuck, I don't know how he's missing that crate now. Okay. Made it. But yeah, Andre, I saw you comment on... Yeah, Andre, I saw you comment on um, Abdul's livestream as well the other day. On Friday. And yeah, he he literally beat all three games in one livestream in Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy. So he livestreamed the entire trilogy in its entirety. 
If I was to do something like that, oh, cheers, Classic Gamer X11. But yeah, anyways, what do you call it? I forgot what I was gonna say now. That's strange. How do I have two? Oh yeah, yeah. I remember why now. I didn't land on that spot where a Brio bonus round token was, but it doesn't matter. I'm just doing this for fun, and this is not <clears throat> this is not for 100% completion either. Actually, no. I'm gonna rename that window capture source to Elgato Game Capture HD 60s Backup. I might as well do that. Because now I officially have a backup plan. There. Done. You know, I'm surprisingly having a lot of, you know, commentators here, which I never... I mean, a lot of comments in the chat, which I next never usually have in a live stream. I mean, yeah, I usually have a, a decent amount of watchers, but... You know... Oh, are you on your main main account on your PS4? Oh no, nah, I'm just using a guest account on my PS4 for the live stream because I'm using my because for my actual PSN account I'm using that for the let's play. That's why I'm on a I'm playing on a guest account on the live stream because I'm using the let's play to showcase you know all the trophies and everything as well. And to showcase, you know, the leaderboard as well. With my actual, you know, PSN username. But yeah, Kaiju fan 2002. It was nice to see you join late. I mean, of course, I see, you, I sometimes see you join my live streams, I think. Okay, this is why I've got to be careful. Yeah, because the mechanics, they did change, you know. Because whenever you move, you tend to move more when you're using the analog stick in these hog levels. Okay, got that. Oh yeah. Approaching the final hog now, the one that takes the piss for everyone in this Triplay Remastered Trilogy. Wow, and I actually made it over first time. Nice. In the let's play, I didn't even do that. I'm not. I don't actually. I don't actually remember if I did that in the last live stream or not. But yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, I remember what I was gonna say now. But yeah, if I was to do what Abdul did, you know, to com to actually do a live stream of me completing all the games within the trilogy 100% you know I'd actually I would start from the beginning well of course I'd start from the beginning what I mean to say is that I would actually start live streaming very early in the day probably straight after I had breakfast or something I don't know it depends when I wake up as well because you know, the I probably the ideal time for me to even wake up to do it for would even be like six or seven o'clock because yeah i sometimes do wake up at six on my days off work so yeah <laughs> don't be surprised if you see a live stream as early as seven in the morning if you guys are living in the uk <laughs> or in another country that shares the same time zone which is currently the gmt time zone greenwich mean time But yeah, classic Gamer X11. I saw your speedrun as well, but I didn't see it entirely because... Hang on, I think that was on yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, you did that live stream yesterday. And... Like, I was just tired from work and I just had to take a nap. But you know, there we go. Alright. Wait, I know a few tricks, but for some reason I'm not using them. And yeah, if you spin on the bouncy fire, 
those bouncy fire pots or pits or whatever the fuck you call them. Some people call them pedestals. But yeah, if you spin wh while you land on them, you don't bounce on them. Essentially, it acts as another platform. Like, that is a mechanic in, like, pretty much any Crash Bandicoot game when you spin as you land on top of, you know, something bouncy that Crash bounces on, it just turns into, like, a solid platform. And wow, I don't know how the fuck that happened. It is pretty tired near the end, yeah. Can you have me back on Nintendo Switch, please? Yeah, sure. Like, I just gotta turn my Nintendo Switch on to do that, but, you know, I'm doing it on... The actual PS4. I'm just playing on my PS4 Pro right now, as you can tell. It's 4K prestigiousness. I can show you, like, that I'm actually, you know, playing in 4K as well. I can easily come out the game and then just show you the, the actual resolution of a console's output in that. Oh, that was really close. I jumped twice there. Did not see that shit coming. Take you on a journey, girl! <laughs> Me and my Alpha Omega sing quotes. Like, that's what you were saying, like, every time, or well, almost every time he entered a bonus round. In that live stream that he did. Like, on the day the game came out, on the day Insane Trilogy came out. Yeah, I remember you sent me a friend request. Like, on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, because I put my friend code on my YouTube channel. And I'm gonna get that Alcoco mask, yeah. And I'll read the comments, I'll scroll back up and read the comments right after I've beaten this level. Oh fuck, big mistake. It's like the spinning mechanic doesn't work with the fire, even if you do have an, even if you do have an Aku Aku mask. I was gonna say go back and do the shit properly, but then again, I could easily do that like the normal way as well. It's not even hard to be honest. But you know, this level was actually challenging back in the day. Holy crap, okay. Let's make this shit. Whoa, uh, that was really close. Okay, I did not see that shit coming. Whoa, okay, that was a wasted life. What, another wasted life? Come on, mechanics, don't fuck about with me. Alright. Let's do this shit. Yeah, I'll just stand here since there's no life there. Okay, good thing I didn't slip because of the shitty ass mechanics this time. And yeah, this is also a mechanic. You, you know, as you jump, you can spin. And even though you don't actually touch the spinning platforms themselves, you know, You hit the actual hitbox of the spinning platform that actually triggers them to spin. Like, that's another strat right there. Yeah, I can hear myself fine. In the live stream. 
I'm a, I have the volume on my phone like really low. Just, yeah, it was yesterday. It wasn't the best run. Did it in about 1 hour and 25 minutes. Oh yeah, you did as well. Yeah, what's up, Nukester? Welcome to the live stream. And yeah, I know you joined. Oh, hey, man, Raj. I was just concentrating on the game. But yeah, <laughs> the way he comes in and says, Don't get too bogged down. <laughs> funny you say that yeah i was actually bogged down in the game i didn't even read your fucking comment <laughs> but yeah 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 sam it is to play up until cortex essentially but yeah well as i promised i'm gonna read the comments now as promised Okay, so from where I, from the last comments that I'm, that I missed, Shredded Nation also says, LMAO, I found you on Jeremiah's Discord. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> nice. We're interesting that. But anyways, welcome to the live stream, Shredded Nation. If you're still there. Oh, back down to four live viewers. You having a, you having a fucking laugh? Guess gamers. Okay, I've already read those. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I pretty much read all the comments there. Because some of the most of those comments I already read before is just I was only reading the comments that I missed, and that was from Shredded Nation. Okay. I'm going into up for creek. Okay, anyways, people. Yeah, this would be the last live stream that I do in 2017, and this year has been quite eventful. How has your year been, people? Those of you, for those of you who are watching, how has 2017 been? Has it been great? Has it been complete and utter shite? Because I know a lot of people can agree when, when I say that it's this year has been fucking terrible in terms of real life events and crap like that. But as for gaming, as for games, movies. And entertainment in general, it's been an amazing year. So I'm not sure if this is missed. This probably was missed because I was somehow muted for whatever reason. Or practically no reason whatsoever. But, you know. Okay, jumped too late then. Okay, jump too early then as well. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Yeah, that was way too early. Well, that was really close. But yeah, this has been a, phenom a phenomenal year for games. Like, as I've mentioned while I was, like, muted for practically no reason whatsoever. But if it wasn't for this year, like, you know, we wouldn't have gotten games like, what do you call it? We wouldn't have gotten this for starters. We wouldn't have gotten Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, Uncharted The Lost Legacy, which is a game that I actually got for Christmas this year. Fucking hell, I don't know how I missed that. I literally do not know how I missed that at all. I never usually miss that shit, but you know. Probably the New Year's Eve live stream. <laughs> it's probably like the New Year's Eve live stream is cursed that I have right now, or some shit. 
Like, I'm dying for literally no reason. Like, even at this early in the game, I'd never usually die. Like, first time in a run. But, you know, this is just a casual run, and so it's all chill for this live stream. Classic GameRex11 says, 2017 was filled with ups and downs, but in terms of my YouTube channel, it is the biggest year with me starting live streams and commentary. Well, yeah, I think this is pretty much your comeback year there, Sam, because... You know, it's the first time I actually saw you doing commentary and it's the first time in ages since I've seen you upload videos and it's the first and it's the very first time that I actually seen you, you know, start doing your own live streams on YouTube as well. I mean, yeah, I know I need to start doing live streams on YouTube as well, but there are just a few live streams such as past events that I want to get out of the way as well. But I reckon I could get them out of the way since I potentially have time like especially like in in the new year I, I got two anniversary live streams to get out of the way I got like let's see I got my seventh anniversary live stream to do and I got my eighth anniversary live stream to do the seventh anniversary live stream was for 2015 to celebrate my seventh anniversary in 2015 and my 8th anniversary was for this year, for my 8th anniversary in 2017. You know it's funny how today is literally the last day we refer to the year 2017 as this year. It's no longer going to be this year. Like within less than an hour. Well not less than an hour, but within less than a day at least. Or less than half a day now. Like, less than half a day, it's gonna be known as, you know, it's literally gonna be known as last year. Okay, what the fuck? That never usually happens. Even if I do jump around in a circle like that, that never usually happens. There's obviously a hitbox, hitbox problem. Hitbox, I don't know how I ended up saying that. How much gains on your channel? Actually, this channel's had a lot of gains, to be fair. A lot of gains, indeed. Because, you know, this year, like, my channel actually increased in terms of... In terms of subscribers, my YouTube channel has increased, like, by so much in comparison to previous years. Like, usually I'd only get, like, roughly 100 subscribers a year, but this year I, I managed to get, like, at least 200 subscribers within one year, within this year alone. Ripper ruined. Yeah. Well, I mean, what you call it. Well, I mean, like, a whole year, as in from when I last got 1,000 subscribers back in 2016. And then within the whole year, I managed... And, like, within a whole year from that point forward, I managed to get you know, 200 subscribers within that year. Like, it was impressive how my sub count suddenly, like, dramatically increased in terms of speed. Like, it's remarkable, to say the least. And yeah, tomorrow we will be able to... We will be able to say, remember last year when we watched Cool Pro 195's Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy live stream. Yeah, I'd be like, I remember last year when I did a New Year's Eve live stream with Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy, and 
I had a few technical fuck ups <laughs> from the beginning. But then it got better as it went on. Live stream to remember that'll be that was. Livestream to remember that is. That's that's a better tense to put it. But yeah, I might or I might not get a green gem in this. But hopefully, I still I want to get the green gem as well because, you know, it'd be nice to showcase that life glitch. Oh, for fuck's sake! I need that brio token in order to unlock that bonus round because now these bonus rounds require. Because now in this triple A remastered trilogy, you have to unlock. You have to smash all the crates in the bonus rounds as well in order to complete. The level 100% with a gem. But yeah, an hour and 10 minutes it has been. You know. Realistically, it would have been. I would have already been past this by now if it wasn't for those fucked up technical difficulties. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah, Gabriel, I definitely. And the PC Master Race. I've been PC Master Race for a year now. Over a year now. Since like October 2016. Essentially. And my cousin Andre over here now has his own gaming PC. As well. So. Since Christmas 2017. Well since Christmas Day 2017. He's officially joined the PC Master Race. Man and was he pumped when he got that PC. I actually helped him out of his setup and everything with OBS and his base and basically his whole recording setup in general. Okay. And he recently did a Black Ops 1 live stream with another one of my cousins. He was playing with another one of my cousins. And I was there in the live stream, but I wasn't playing, I was monitoring his live stream. But yeah, I might live stream some Black Ops 1 with him sometime as well, since, you know, that game still holds up. And yeah, I managed to get the whole Black Ops trilogy on CD keys for cheap ass prices, much cheaper than on Steam. Holy crap, that was so close. I slipped off that platform right there. God, that's so much better. My foot doesn't have pins and needles anymore. Okay, time to parkour this shit. Say, like, oh yeah, I just joined PC Master Race, yeah. Oh yeah, I had to move Feroxia Game Capture. Okay, you had to move it. How come? Oh, he got to use his Roxia Game Capture Pro HD Pro, which actually got him to set up. But you know, he probably had to move it for whatever reason. And I made that nicely. I made that one nicely. Okay. There, yeah, made that. Hang on, wait. I know exactly what I need to do. I don't need to turn and down the actual desktop audio all I need to do is turn the game capture HD audio down in the volume mixer yeah yeah that works I completely forgot about that. Whoa, I nearly fell off. I nearly got pushed off by that shit. Man, 
man. If I want to get a gem, I cannot afford to fuck up. I really can't afford to fuck up. Especially at this point. Uh, get all them lives. The bat exploit trick. Okay, now for this bonus round right here. <coughs> Man. How many live views do I have? Still four. Oh, I moved a bunch of stuff. Oh, fireworks already. Oh, some people are putting on their new year. Fireworks display. Okay. Might try out this strat once again. Oh, shit. I hate it when that happens. But yeah, there's this speedrunning strat that I know of. Like, I know I can do it, it's just that I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Fucking hell. I, I know what to do, it's just the timing is off. <laughs> Fucking hell. You know, I should stop trying because this is just ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. Cause I could just do it in the volume mixer, I don't have to do it in OBS. Okay, I've turned it down even more now in the volume mixer. Is that better? Hell, this is an this is an easy bonus round as well. I'm not gonna lie, it's just so cheap. What's happening to me right now? For fuck's sake, why did the Elgato have to cut off on me like that? See, now it's created this fucking bullshit for me. I literally can't get to the other side now. Oh yeah, I remember me and Leo were meant to do that Black Ops 1 livestream. Well, we were gonna do it, but you know. I was tired from going out and all that. Bloody hell, these mechanics. Go, yeah, I just want to get through this shit in one piece. Fuck the tactic. But yeah, it's all good. Now, as it's New Year's Eve, people, what have you been guys doing New Year's Eve? For those of you who are in the chat, the live chat. Oh, for fuck's sake! Really? Well, that ruined a good fucking run. Man, I was hoping to get the fucking green gem. Like, that was pathetic. Funny how this happens to me every time I fucking livestream this game. But yeah, the green gem, you know, it works as a shortcut in Castle Machine. That's why I'm restarting. Oh, I would say, like, I'm aiming to get through this game as quickly as possible, but these fucking retarded mechanics are just... They're just taking the fucking piss. They're just being absolute piss takes.
But there's a difference between challenge and piss taking, and this is outright piss taking to the fucking core. But yeah. It's not like I can't recover from it though. A man can recover from it. Well, I'm going out for a meal soon, but not much else. Can't be bothered to celebrate New Year's that much. Really, that's how you feel about New Year's. Okay then. Oh. As it happens, I've been working New Year's Eve for that double pay, just like I've been, just like I've been doing for Christmas Eve. Man's got that Christmas Eve. Yeah, now man's got that Christmas Eve double pay and that New Year's Eve double pay. Man, it's good to work special occasions like that sometimes, but I think Eve is the limit. Like Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve is the limit. If you're lucky enough to work a bank holiday, then, you know, take the opportunity for the double pay, innit? Okay, I've got to go back in here again. Wait, I'm not actually that tired either. I'm not as tired as I, I'm not as tired as I'd usually be after work as well. Considering like I usually pass out all the fucking time after I, I finish a shift. Well, uh, some time after I have my shower after work anyway. But you know, I think today, considering that I'm doing the live stream, it's been like keeping me awake. You know, giving me an objective, keeping me on my toes, as it were. Okay, I'm just gonna approach these of course, I'm not gonna do anything fancy. Even though I know these tricks just for the, just for the occasion, I'm just gonna play it safe, knowing the mechanics just wanted to fuck me over. Okay, bonus round. Now this is an easy bonus round which should not be problematic at all to complete. Fucking hell. It's these mechanics, they make it stiff to move as well because of the hitboxes. That's the issue. Yeah, smash those. Yeah, it's basically 620 right now, so I've, I effectively have like one hour and 40 minutes until the party. But yeah, just you know the family having to get together for, me, for the New Year celebration at Andre's place. Yeah, Andre, I'm coming to your place later. like we spoke about it earlier. I mentioned it earlier in the live stream as well. I'm going to, you know, uncle's house. But yeah, the uncle I was talking about, it's Andre's dad over here. <laughs> Holy crap. That was really close. Yeah, that was where I fucked up the last time. Well, actually, that was where the mechanics fucked me over, over the last time. If you want to be politically correct. <laughs> but anyways... Now oh, here we go, and there's the green gem that I was planning to get the whole time. It's just this level in particular, it's more climactic if you complete it with the green gem. Otherwise it just feels like a waste of time. But yeah. 
Because I'm not sure if Abdul's still live or not. And let me check YouTube to see if he's still live. I'm not sure if that's going to take away from download speed though, because... You know. I see some people liked my stuff as well. Some people on Facebook have been liking my post about the live stream, which is cool. Okay, I'm gonna go and see if, you know. I'm gonna check Abdul. Just go on YouTube and see if he's still live streaming. I'm not gonna do it on my phone because I have the live stream open on my phone. And yeah, Abdul's still live streaming at the moment. I don't know, either I might add them in after they finish. Either I might add Abdul and Alex in to the commentary after they finish, or I might actually carry on the entire livestream solo. But yeah, let's jump into Temple Ruins. I've got five viewers now, nice. Okay, Temple Ruins it is. Piss easy level. Well, good thing I don't have to complete the level and smash all the crates without dying, considering this is a clear gem. Whoa, okay, that was a piss take. Man, this live stream is fucking. become piss take central. Like, what the legit fuck was that all about? Like, I literally walked off the edge of the platform for literally no reason whatsoever. Man, I'm just having, like, the same, well, more or less the same bad luck as Alpha Omega Sin was having in his livestream, but at the same time, not exactly. Well, he was having worse luck for me in Native Fortress, whereas, like, Native Fortress was literally a breeze for me. Especially in Entain Trilogy. Well, not exactly a breeze, hence the few piss takes, but... You know. Essentially, this game always gives someone a hard time. Whenever it happens. Well, you know, it's a great game. It says, oh yeah, I reached 40 subs on YouTube this year. Oh yeah, I saw on your channel, Andre. Yeah, he's officially reached 40 subscribers. And he's still, like, yet to upload his current, you know, Rock Show Game Capture HD60 Pro recording test and his Black Ops 1 livestream to his YouTube channel in order to archive it there. But yeah. For fuck's sake. Now that was really cheap. That was cheap as fuck. But I'm gonna say for 2017 as well, even though, like, for the most part, like, real life events, it's been such a piss take of a year, but at the same time, there were just, there were those few moments of success that I had, which, you know, I'm really proud of, like, setting up this, oh, like, you know, getting this set up to even work, you know, actually managing to bypass 4K signal through to 1080p displays, or just 
displays that don't support 4K from HDMI. Just looking at the 4K visuals right now, it just looks so fucking sick. But yeah, and also, also another good achievement of this year is that I passed my practical driving test, which is what I aimed to do this year. That was like, that was like one of the biggest, that was one of my biggest goals of this year, if I'm being completely honest here. Because, you know, it's a life essential asset, you need it, and it's gonna help you in life. And for those who don't have it yet, I highly recommend you to get it as soon as possible. The earlier, the earlier, trust me, the earlier you get it, the better. It just makes life so much easier for you. That you don't have to put up with such bullshit. Like, bullshit of like, you know, having to rely on others when you could instantly get yourself to places whenever you want, like on your own terms. But yeah, anyways, I complete this level of a gem. And yeah, that, that was actually a good that was actually a big personal achievement of mine, which I'm actually really happy about, so that, that just makes my life easier now that I have it under my belt. But yeah, anyone else want to share any achievements, personal achievements that they had, like this year? Man, I'm, I'm still calling 2017 this year. Like, it's mad. It's actually mad now. You know what's funny? Like, I was at work earlier and I still didn't believe that today was New Year's Eve. It just felt like a normal work day. And to be honest, like, even though this is double payoff, for fuck's sake, I was meant to jump on the rope, but he completely missed because of these shitty ass hitboxes. Fucking hell, quit fucking around. But yeah. As I was about to say. Oh, shit. Yeah, I need to concentrate at the same time too, but yeah, as I was about to say. Like, New Year's Eve, like, surprisingly, considering New Year's Eve was also, like, a double payday. Like, one of those special occasions that you get double pay on if you work on those days. Like Chris, like New Year's Eve to me surprisingly wasn't, like the factory, like the place wasn't exactly the same like, in terms of how busy it was. Cause like, on Christmas Eve, the place was really quiet. It was like a ghost town. Not gonna lie. It was legit like a ghost town. The place was like, so clean, like, we barely had shit to do for like an hour. Like, it was a piss easy day, effectively. <laughs> Fuck. It was literally just like the cleaning team in and a few engineers plus security. While, you know, like the upstairs office and the production department had the day off. But yeah, that's effectively how it was on New Year's Eve. I mean, Christmas Eve is essentially a ghost town, but... But New Year's Eve was effectively... It was basically just like any normal work day, despite being a double payday. Although, like, I spoke to one of my one of my work friends there, and he said that Christmas Day was also the same. It was also... It was also like Christmas Eve. It was quiet as fuck as well. And uh, I can't jump around that because of these mechanics. Whereas in the original, I can. It really does suck how they changed the mechanics. Or more like, re-implemented these mechanics. Because, you know, it's in a new engine. But still, even if it's in a new engine, it could still, like... 
you know, tr at least try and re-implement the old physics instead of recreate them entirely into something completely different. Like, no wonder the fucking game plays differently than to how it did on, you know, the original PS1 versions. Andre P. Silver FDW says, I'm gonna learn to speedrun Mario Odyssey next year. <laughs> Best of luck with that. You could actually do that as well. Like, do like any percent, like, you could do like speedrun practices and stuff. And you could like live stream them as well. You, you get like a lot of viewers and subscribers. You get like a lot of subscribers and followers as well. Because, like, a lot of people tend to watch speedrunners on YouTube and Twitch live as well, which is, you know, actually kind of like a trending thing. Well, not exactly trending, because, you know, there's a lot of shit that's trending. Especially a lot of pointless shit, but, you know, it is what it is. It's Border Dash, here we go. I wonder if anyone else is still here apart from Andre since he was the one who commented the most, like as of recently. But yeah, back to Uncharted territory. I gotta say, despite the, t the technical difficulties that I've had earlier in the day, I mean not the daily, earlier in the live stream. Like, fuck. Like, this is actually going much better now. Like, the live stream is actually going much better than it used to. Like, much better than it was before, and I'm still having fun. Especially for a New Year's Eve celebration. But for New Year's Day, I actually might actually have... Hang on, let me get this right. I actually might have some guest commentators from the beginning. Considering, you know, it's more relaxed and not the type of live stream that is done, like, within, like, you know, just a split second decision. And, uh, and plus, like, I wouldn't have been in a rush to even go anywhere, considering, you know, I could live stream for as long as I want. Like, if I wasn't going to, like, if I have nowhere else to go. So, yeah. It makes, so yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if the next live stream would be more eventful. Like, if I happen to do the New Year's, the New Year's Day live stream tomorrow for 2018, then yeah, it might potentially be more eventful. I just put that the people who I have, who I plan to have guest commentating on there are actually active at that time. Although it would be later on as well. I think it'd be much later than this, or maybe it might be a little earlier. I'm not entirely sure. But you know... Oh fucking hell, I don't even know how that even happened. Okay, now that didn't even make sense either. How does Crash even end? How does Crash even end up being squashed by the boulder when, like, he already fell down the hole? Like, he already fell down the pit, so there's no way, there's no logical explanation as to how Crash was even flattened by the boulder when he already fell down that fucking pit. Like, talk about fucked up programming. Yeah, and that boulder is dangerously close for some fucked up reason. Okay, now that it hits Crash, he falls down. Instead of... You know, gets... Flattened and rolls over with the boulder. Yeah, I really don't understand how I'm even dying in this level, to be completely honest. I know this is uncharted territory, but still, even uncharted territory is like piss easy for me. Like, uncharted territory in Crash Bandicoot is just piss.
There we go. So yeah, I need to learn how to edit streams first. Well, you don't need to edit streams, actually. You can just upload the live stream raw, like how it is, and it's all good. Like, hence it's an archive. I mean, to upload live streams, though. Like, you, you could easily, like... Well, okay, I don't know why I was going to yawn there, but yeah. As I was going to say... Like, if there's no actual recording of the live stream like, on your PC... Then, like, you could go on your Twitch channel and see if your live stream is still there. And then export it to YouTube. Like, there's an option which allows you to export it to YouTube. I've used it once when I did one of my PS4 live streams. Like, back on the original PS4 where, you know, I live streamed, I live streamed directly from my PS4. Oh hey Bronze Heart 92, welcome to the live stream. How's Crash not NST? This game be awesome. XD. You mean this game is awesome? But yeah, it is awesome. It's a fucking sick game. Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy is so sick. But yeah, gotta watch out for that as well. Got that shit. But yeah, anyways, Bronze Heart 92. Like, how's 2018 been for you? I mean, how's 2017 been for you? And are you looking forward to 2018? Just like the rest of us. I'm certainly looking forward to 2018 for what it has to offer. Medieval Remastered. It's the brand new Spider-Man game. I forgot what it was called. It's either The Amazing Spider-Man or whatever. Actually, I'm not sure if it's even called The Amazing Spider-Man. Actually, yeah, I remember now. They just renamed it to Marvel Spider-Man as of Paris Games Week. So they showcased the trailer there. Like, I watched Paris Games Week live. It was like months ago now. Well, at least one or two months ago. I can't exactly remember when it was, but... You know. Holy shit, that's better, so much better. But yeah, Marvel Spider-Man, that's another game that I can't wait for. It's for one developed by Insomniac Games that was first initially revealed at E3 2016 at Sony's at the Sony PlayStation Experience E3 2016 press conference. Man, I'm not gonna lie, that was a press conference to remember, and 2016 was definitely a year to remember. Like, for E3 in general. I like how Sony presented E3. I like how Sony did their press conference for E3 2016, but as of E3 2017, their presentation was actually... It wasn't as great as 2016, to be honest, because it didn't have that traditional format. It didn't have that traditional format where, like, 
you know, the announcers, you know, the hosts and also the devs will come up on stage and talk about the game and then show a trailer, but no, instead, like, this year, what they did was that they actually did, they made it a whole media showcase, as it were. Like they turned the pro, like the press conference into a media showcase. It's weird because it doesn't have that traditional setup. That's why it didn't deliver as much. And also, they started a Crash Bandicoot, which you know, it's it's good, but but then again, like. To me personally, I reckon Crash Bandicoot is just one of those games, one of those games that actually deserve, you know, more of a build-up to it rather than just like, you know, a starter thing. Because Crash Bandicoot is more of a main course. Like that's how they, that's how they treated, you know, the official comeback announcement for Crash Bandicoot back in E3 2000, 2016. But you know. As for E3 2000, as for E3, I can't even fucking speak for shit right now. And as for E3 2017, yeah, they, like, it was just literally just a star. I mean, of course, like, the launch trailer, looked, it looked amazing, but, you know. It was a great trailer and everything, it was a nice showcase of what you know, the final product had to offer on Cloud99, 99, 99 lives and here we have it but yeah, it, it was nice for what the launch trailer had to offer but I personally reckon it would have fitted much better in the middle of a press conference or as they were calling it, a media showcase but to be honest, it's better off as a traditional press conference and for 2018, I hope they actually go back to the traditional format for, you know, the way they present their press conferences because, you know, presentation was actually lacking with the media showcase. It's like literally like just trailer after trailer and shit, no announcement in the middle. Okay, I don't think the devs would have come up on stage, but it's just... At least... Certain hosts would come up, like Sean Layden. And yeah, we know Sean Layden is one to tease games with the types of shirts that he wears. Like, to these events, like... PlayStation Experience and and E3. Okay, I'm gonna read these other comments right now. It says so 2008. So 2018 is almost upon us, huh? I guess it was fine for me so far. XD. I do wonder how VV can continue the Crash series. Well, they did say that if Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy performs well, they did say, like, if Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy performs well, then they would consider, you know, making the future of Crash more, you know, they would consider continuing, continuing with Crash Bandicoot. And that's a matter of, and that's a matter um, fuck. I don't know why I'm having difficulty talking, but yeah. And as a matter of fact, it happens to be... <sighs> and as a matter of fact, it happens to be, you know... What do you call it? It happened to be successful as well, because... Not only... Because Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy actually, you know... It actually won the the award for best remaster slash remake or remake slash remaster, however you want to put it, of 2016 at the IGN Awards, which is sick. 
So yeah, it shows how successful Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy actually is. Although telling by like the standards of how this game was actually developed and it was also considerably done in a short time. This is essentially Trailer Trash or The Orange Dogs Trailer Trash or The Orange Dogs Insane Trailer Trash as Voice Legend would say. Yeah, Victor. But yeah, I agree with him as well because, you know, the mechanics are quite floaty and it makes the game feel off in comparison to the originals. Not only that, but this game is, I mean, this AAA remastered product is still full of glitches within the three games. Now, there's even some collision detection. There's even some collision detection that isn't even present between enemies. It's like literally, one enemy can literally walk right through another in this game. Like when you're playing Crash 2, and how the fuck do I keep on falling down that pit? I have no fucking clue. But yeah, an enemy can literally just walk right through another enemy. And just not have any reaction whatsoever. Not like, bounce off it or just... You know. Or just get attacked by it or whatever. It just literally clips right through it. Like a lizard, like... In what you call it, in ruination, that uh, you'd see that the lizard, you'd see that like, the lizard walking right through the rat, or the mouse, however you want to put it. And you never see that in the original. Like, never at all. Oh, that was 648 now. But yeah, let's see if I can beat this before at least half past seven or so. I'm gonna try and do this quick, but you know. <laughs> Smash them rocks. But yeah, I'll read more comments like, when I get to it. For smashing these bastards. Yeah, you can still spin them right back at him. Just. You gotta time it well. Sometimes you gotta wait because the minecarts get in the way, but you know, it's mad. But I'm just, I'm live streaming pretty much to kill time before the party as well, so that's another reason why I'm live streaming. Like, I was thinking about doing it while I was at work, but you know, it's just one of those decisions of the occasion. And that was piss easy. Okay, time to read more comments. Andre Silva, Andre P. Silva, FTW says, I want to get Injustice 2 only to play The Flash. And Bronze Heart 92 says XD. Then he says, Beating people as Flash? That is so sick. And Cloud 99, yay! Are you English? Your accent reminds me of one at least. Well, I'm British at least. But I'm full blooded Portuguese. That's just me. Oh, and hey, Dazman joined the live stream. You must be a newcomer. But anyways, welcome to the live stream, Dazman79. And no, Andre, I've not completed Mario Odyssey. He says, Andre P. Silva, FDW says, Pedro, have you completed Mario Odyssey? No, I haven't. I haven't completed it yet. 
I haven't had much of a chance to play on my Switch as often, to be honest. But you know, Dadman says, was her level, lol. Nondre says, yeah. Dazman79 says, just almost done that level. Got trolled by the thing at the end. Andre says, Andre P Silver FDW says, who is excited for Infinity War? Yeah, I am somewhat excited for it. You gotta look more into it as well. Bronze Heart 92 says, yay, ho hog. Oh. Well, it's a piss easy level, but still. It says the most underused boss ever, Koala Kong is. Dazman79 says, uh, I had to go on Sunset Vista, and the thing right at the end of the level got me so. was raging mad. Oh, you were raging mad at that shit. Yeah, Sunset Vista is a killer, but they made it easier here in terms of getting the gem. <laughs> Bronze Heart 92 says, If you think Sunset Vista is hard, try doing the prototype. Trust me, you, f you will fail. Yeah, I've played the prototype version of that level as well. It's no walk in the park. They've added an entire fourth section. Well, they didn't add. Like, originally they had a fourth section, but then they removed it in the final version. And Dazman79 says, that Vista is a beast. Yeah. If you think the final version... If you think the final version of Sunset Vista is a beast, you're in for a shocker when you play the beta prototype of the PS1 game of Crash Bandicoot 1. You're in for a killer there, mate. Yeah, for some reason we don't got three life years now. Maybe some people just decided to leave. But then again, I can understand, you know, because New Year's Eve is a busy time as well. People having parties, going out, getting pissed and all that crap. Man, man's gonna have some drinks at the party as well later on. Like I said, you know, this live stream is essentially a time killer at the same time. But you know, I figured, you know, it would be good for me to do as well since it's something extra to add to my channel. And it just makes memories as well. But yeah, roll on 2018 and yeah, there, there were things, yeah, in, in my previous live stream, you know, I eventually like, you know, came clean about some stuff. Well, I wouldn't exactly say I eventually came clean about some stuff because then that sounds like I was doing some next inside job or some bullshit that had something to do with, I don't know, some fucking cult or some crap. <laughs> but no, nah, it's nothing like that, people. But yeah, anyways, I'm glad, like, you know, I, I started opening up about some things of, of my personal life that I felt like sharing in my previous live stream. Well, the previous live stream that I did, that I played Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy in. That was when, like, I opened up only about a few things that I was comfortable sharing with, like, on air. No, I'm glad, because then that I get some of that stuff off my case. And you know, it makes me finish off 2017 with a clean slate. It's best to start off the new year with a clean slate. Whoa, okay, that was bullshit. Like, what the fuck was that all about? Oh, hey, Ellie Vicure, welcome to the live stream. She says, what's good, bro? But yeah, no nah, man's good. I've been working New Year's Eve, so I'm getting that double pay. Yeah, I'll 
working them eight hour shifts, six to two like a boss. Well not exactly like a boss, you know. No, <laughs> you get the picture. It's just casual working life or oh, fuck. I literally had no reason to die there, whatsoever. Oh, that was so close. Like, tell him by the way Crash was positioned, I nearly slipped off that box. I could have actually slipped off it. It's fucking mad, you don't even understand. Like, you don't even know. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Crap. And she says, that's cool, bro. I wish I was working. Lol. Yeah. But it depends, you know, where you work. Some people, some workplaces don't do double pay on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day, which is quite a piss take, to be honest. I mean, like, those are the type of days that people would actually not want to go into work, unless they get paid extra for it so like why the fuck would you not pay someone like double for working at least new year's eve or new year's day or christmas eve or christmas day like if i knew i wasn't gonna get paid extra for it like i wouldn't have even bothered going probably would have booked it off as a holiday if if you know if it was that pointless i would have booked it off as a holiday but you know, it's good that I worked Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve this year. Which is, you know, it's different from last year since my weekend shift rotated onto both, like, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So, like, I pretty much had to book them off as holidays. Same with New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Yeah. But no, for me personally, like, Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve at least is like the limit. Like, for me working for double pay. Like, as far as, you know, actual, like, Christmas Day and, you know, New Year's Day is concerned. Like, I'd, you know, much rather take the day off anyway because, you know, Christmas. Like Christmas, like the actual days themselves, if anything, like it's time to spend with the family. Like it's not the sort of days you want to spend working, especially like Christmas when you're opening up your presents, if you get any. Okay, I almost made that shit. Especially New Year's Eve. Well, yeah, New Year's Eve is a good day to work. Although, as I was saying earlier, Christmas Eve was a ghost town because, you know, the production workers had the day off. So did the upstairs office. And I don't know how I'm dying so much in this bonus round. But whatever. It's strange because I have a feeling that I might not even make it. Like, pass. I might not even... Considering how this shit is going, I might not even beat the game before... You know, 8 o'clock since 8pm GMT, I got a beat at a party. My uncle's party. And I made it across. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm completing this level 100%. It's just... I don't know, kind of like force a habit in a sense. Because I like beat, you know, beating games. I mean, beating the levels as they are as well. Like if they're so easy to get a gem in. But you know, it is what it is. It doesn't matter. Okay, got the gem. Bit on those silver says, um, 
raging at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe right now. Lol. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the mechanics of that is quite a piss take at the same time I've played it. They are quite a piss take sometimes. Like, they feel slower for some odd reason. Maybe it's just the way, you know, the controllers are mapped out and everything. Okay, into Cortex Power. But yeah, feel free to stay tuned for tomorrow. I might be live streaming later on for New Year's Day since this is kind of... I'm sort of making this like a two-part celebration live event, so... Basically what I'm doing is that I'm doing a New Year's Eve live stream to... A New Year's Eve celebration live stream today for New Year's Eve 2017. And then tomorrow... I plan to do a New Year's Day celebration livestream for 2018. Man, I can't believe that shit's tomorrow as well. This year's gone so fast, like, you barely even notice the time went by. Like, even Christmas alone went so fucking quick. I'm like, wow. Like, that was fucking fast. What? Okay, that was cheap as fuck. I was behind the pillar. I was behind the fucking... Like, pillar or some shit, whatever the fuck you call it. And I still got hit. That is fucking crazy. Five hours till midnight. Yeah, indeed. I think it's... Well, it's 7 o'clock now, so presumably... Yeah, yeah, I think so. Anyway, are you from the UK? Because I'm not exactly sure where you're from, um, Dazman79. If you are, then yeah, you're literally in the same time zone as I am. Cortex powers an easy level. Yeah, he's from the UK. It says, yeah, UK. And yeah, it's definitely five hours till midnight. I've got plenty of time. And yeah, and I've effectively got an hour to beat this game now. Just, you know, to beat the rest of the third island. And I hope the Hyro doesn't give me some next bullshit. Same with Slippery Climb, knowing, you know, how delayed the fucking mechanics are. Like, the cycles get fucked up so easily. It's fucking mad. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow for my New Year's Day. For my, tomorrow for my New Year's Day livestream. For my, tomorrow for my New Year's Day celebration livestream. Like, as I mentioned earlier, for those who weren't here earlier, I, I plan to have guest commentators join and hopefully they'll be available if not I might end up doing that solo as well but you know it is what it is I mean sometimes like, if you guys enjoy my commentary solo then fair enough but you know I personally find it more entertaining to live stream to live stream with guest commentators I'm sorry just I'm just repeating to myself so I can I'm just re repeating what I'm saying sometimes so I can get the words out much clearer okay but yeah, and that's for tomorrow I plan to either live stream I plan to live stream like multiple games tomorrow, which so it's gonna be a little different to this. And since it's 
and you know since it's like 2018 it'd be like you know kind of like sort of a 2000 and sort of like a 2018 like you know hype sort of live stream so whatever, whatever games I play would be like it would either be in it would either be like as a reference to how like how 2018 has like potential hype towards potential franchises that could be making comebacks and are making comebacks and some could be like for those that for those franchises that actually you know make like mark a special like anniversary like on the year 2000 2018 where whether it's like a 10th anniversary or 20th anniversary and i got the gem the orange gem even though i didn't need it but i got it anyway I did better than in my live stream test. My 1080p 60 frames per second live stream test that I did back then. Okay, toxic waste. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a blue gem or not, but we'll see. It's got three live viewers. Man. Well, to be fair, it's not great, but you know, it's fun to at least have you guys commentate in the chat. I mean, comment in the chat because you're not technically commentating, you're posting comments clearly. Oh, now I hear fireworks out my window. I just hear fireworks going off outside my window, I'm not sure if... It's definitely the neighbours. Definitely the neighbours. I just want to get the shit over and done with, to be honest. I can't wait to go to the party. Get pissed. Actually, I'm not even sure if I even... <laughs> would even get pissed since, you know, it takes time. And I don't easily get pissed either. So like, if anyone wants to try and get me pissed, good fucking luck with that. <laughs> yeah, bitch. And that didn't even hit me once. Okay, I made it to the bonus round and past that section. Yeah, in the original, that was quite a piss take to make. But you know, of course, the mechanics are different at the time. Another piss easy bonus round. <clears throat> and there we go. All right, jump around. Okay, this is proper fucking madness. I lost an Akok and mask, but at least I didn't die, and I got the blue gem. Toxic, then again, Toxic Waste is a pissy level. But yeah, anyone else going to any parties or anything, celebrating New Year's Eve for 2017? To put this, like, you know, like, piss take of a year to rest. Is Tommy Gun is noise reliable? Yeah. You get that shit. Okay. And yeah, unlike the original, you can't skin him three times. Like in one phase while he's up. So like you literally have to take turns. So they programmed the boss fight, the pinstripe part of boss fight here to be even harder. Oh. 
fucking hell, it didn't even give me a, enough time to even get back there. Like shit. I literally bounced off him as I hit him. Like, like that wasted like a good millisecond of time. Wow, talk about another waste of second of time. Yeah, his moves are predictable as well. It's no surprise. Yeah, I'm better off, you know, staying here. And he's fucked. Like Patui. Okay, anyone still here? I want this back up to four live viewers now. But yeah, everyone here still having fun watching the live stream? The live stream on New Year's Eve? I wonder if Abdul's still live streaming or not. The high road. Let me check YouTube real quick. Just to see if he's still live streaming. If not, then I could call him up. I might as well ask him to join. Yeah, he's finished live streaming. I'll see if he's like, you know, ready. Actually, you know, I'll contact the group. can get both Abdul and Alex in okay whoa that was really close I nearly slipped off the platform Fucking hog. I hate it when it happens. And I know I could have gone on the ropes as well, but still. Even then. It's fucking mad. See, the ropes are just fucked up sometimes. I just want to get through this shit now. Just want to finish live streaming and then... <sighs> what? Can you stop fucking doing that? Jeez. Ugh, come on, like, this is not the occasion for this. Oh, come the fuck on. Hey, you're just wasting valuable time here. I mean, yeah, I know I'm wasting time down back as well, but hey. <sighs> fuck that shit. Fucking hell. And I'm getting a pity mask as well. You know, I'm not even gonna do, like, castle machinery entirely now because of this. Like, it's just gonna waste time. It's good that I have the fucking green gem from the Lost City. Good thing I restarted, like, you know, twice. Even though I shouldn't have had to, but... I shouldn't have had to, but... 
But I did eventually have to. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, near a checkpoint as well, don't take the piss. Like, seriously, don't take the fucking piss. Come on, this is ridiculous. I don't know how I aim. I don't know how I feel so rusty at this. Oh, for fuck's sake, this is perfect. This is meant to be Happy New Year, not pissed off New Year. Jeez. Like, chill your tits on the pointless deaths. Oh, come on! How could you have not made that one? It's fucking annoying. Oh wow, how did I not see that coming? Like literally I knew that was coming. Oh come on man. Nova ropes are just wasting my time at this point. Fuck them. Like there was a time where I've gotten good at them but then, you know, the mechanics wanna decide to be rusty as fuck with me, so there's your fucking answer to all this bullshit. Ah, oh, I hate that. Yeah, now that I have invincibility, you know, it's crazy because I can walk on the ropes with invincibility as well, much faster. Oh come on man, don't waste my time by slipping through shit. I, I have a party to get to, so I'd appreciate it if you don't waste my fucking time. Like, that would at least be the kindest thing to do, oh, so close. Oh come on man, near a checkpoint, quit being a fucking cock tease already. Okay, come on, you can make this. Wow, how did you not land that one? This is silly. Like, I know my fucking perception is just fucking with me entirely. Jesus. Like, give me fucking strength. There we go, fucking checkpoint at last. Oh come on, I could have easily made that. Oh come on man. Another cocktease near a checkpoint, don't take the piss. 
Oh, come on. Seriously, this isn't even funny. I have a party to get to, and you're just deliberately wasting my time. What? Okay, what the fuck was that all about? That was complete and utter bullshit to the fucking core. Falling through that gap is just fucking pathetic. Wow, and because the fucking Elgato cut off, I died for literally no reason. Like, of course I was gonna die. Like, I can't even see where I'm fucking going. Fucking piece of crap software. Oh, come on. Come on, man, don't make this fucked up for me. I've not touched the insane trilogy in some time as well, so I'm quite rusty, but still. Wow, I was literally about to jump in as soon as I pressed the fucking X button, he falls. What sort of sense do you call that? What sort of sense is that supposed to make? Wow, okay. There we go. Not so hard to get that checkpoint now, was it? There. And just like that, we've got the checkpoint number three. Man, okay. So much better, okay. Yeah, sorry guys if I haven't been reading your comments. It's just, I've been really concentrated on this, and as you guys know, and I've, as I've said multiple times, I have a party to get to. Oh hey JJ Fox 994 welcome to the live stream. She says Happy New Year Senpai and Crash. Yeah, knock out that one pin warthog out. Crash is just drunk on one on one per cider. Yeah, clearly he is. After all this bullshit wall, I nearly fell off as well. Whoa, okay, for fuck's sake. I nearly Man I could have actually made that shit. But you know, this is mad. But yeah, hang on, let me see if Abdul wants to join. Because I've asked him. Oh, Abby went off to sleep. And Alex is currently setting up for tomorrow's live stream. Okay. I'll ask if he'd still be able to join. Like Abdul just went to sleep. Fair enough for him. Like New Year started early for him, I take it. What the? There we go, like he just froze for a second. For those jumps, I normally look at where the shadow lands. Yeah, so do I. I. I pay attention to the shadow and Crash's animation. Because sometimes his animation just determines where. Like, what exactly is gonna happen when he lands. If you know what I mean. But yeah, I made it. Why does crash? Wow. But yeah, I see. Well, nice to know you finally created a Twitch account, JJ. Whoa, okay, ah. Oh. You know, I thought I was gonna make that, but then. Shit's fucked up. Because it's a cold place, that's why crash is shivering. 
wise crush. I just made that shit. Come on, make it. Yes, I just made it. Okay, I've only half an hour to spare before I have to get to a party. I've still got the rest of the game to complete. Oh, fucking hell, Elgato. Quit cutting off on me like a bitch. I hate it when it does that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now I'm gonna have to boot it up again. I'm gonna have to load up the software yet again. Okay, let's see if it loads up. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh great, now it's coming off like this, which is weird. Oh, Alex is doing some recording tests, fair enough. Yeah, I'm just doing the best I can to stretch this shit out. Even though I don't have much time for setup now. Man, I've been having these difficulties earlier as well. Like, this never happened to me in a live stream before. It's only happening now, which is a piss take. Considering it's a... You know... Oh. Oh, so you're having a party at the same time, JJ. It's nice to know. I've almost got the capture anyway. This sucks though, because I had it, like, exactly how I wanted it, and now that... You know, the actual program crashed, I had to resize everything and it's kind of difficult to resize it in OBS as well you know I'm just gonna leave it like this there's no point <clears throat> I at least managed to get it to fit so that's decent enough I at least managed to get rid of the side shit So yeah, those borders can officially fuck off. Okay, slippery climb. <sighs> Literally half an hour to spare. <clears throat> Let's hope for mechanics don't waste my time now. But yeah. Anyways, what have you been doing today? Like earlier, JJ, for New Year's Eve. Oh, I was gonna say, is there input delay? Nah, there's not. Like, I was gonna say because that way I won't be able to play at all because I've been having the same issue earlier. Like, the exact same issue. Okay, let's make this. I don't know, maybe next time I might actually be able to live stream with my Elgato game capture HD60S normally. Considering window capture, like, really does not, it does not suit the way, like, you're supposed to be capturing, you're supposed to be, you know, live streaming capture card footage. And I can't use my 4K 60 Pro because then there's going to be input delay and I won't be able to respond on time because of the input delay, so yeah, it looks good good at the moment. Went to my grandparents for lunch. That's nice. That's nice, JJ. 
but yeah, it does look good. It looks great. You know, this HDMI upscaler that I'm using. I'm literally outputting, like, you know, I'm outputting, like, essentially a disguised 4K signal to a 1080, to, like, a 1080p device. Like, essentially. I'm definitely, I'm definitely skipping Castle Machinery. Definitely with that green gem. I just don't have the time for it. I just don't have that kind of time. And I'm skipping the credits as well. Not showing it like last time. I live streamed this. That was so close. Move, you motherfucker. Okay. Okay. Dude, that's so good. How about you? I've been working New Year's Eve. Holy shit! That was so close. But yeah, I've been working New Year's Eve for that double pay. Same with Christmas Eve as well. But although, like, today compared to... Working today compared to last week... Like, it wasn't a ghost town like it was on Christmas Eve. Like, it literally felt like a normal day at work. Just another day at the office, essentially. Just double pay. <laughs> but I presume that's Japanese that you typed there. Whoa, okay, I knew that was gonna happen, and you know what, I don't even care if I don't get the fucking gem in this, because, like I said, like, I'm on the clock here, and I've got a party to get to. She says, oh, they're here, have a lovely time, senpai, you too, JJ, have an awesome time, and a happy new year. I'll see you in 2018. <coughs> senpai wishing all the best. And yeah, she called me Senpai because, you know, I help her set up recording and stuff. Well, actually, you know, like, I inspired her to make, like, gaming videos, but then, but now she's, like, more concentrated on her art, which is, you know, understandable because it's her career she actually wants to pursue. Like she wants to like become well from my understanding she wants to become like a concept artist and game design but yeah it's a great field to go into and no i i really can't be fucked to deal with that shit on this occasion like, i just don't have the time for it i'm sorry i just don't as much of a completionist that i am i really don't have the time to just get bogged down and get in the gems. And yeah, man, which I did said bogged down yet again. If you're still watching or if you're re-watching this on YouTube. But yeah. Okay, 25 minutes now. I don't know, is it just me or is it looking better than before? Because I know it's like a vivid colour difference. Uh, and then again, that's probably just me because I'm probably tired from work. But then again, you know. <coughs> but yeah, JJ, see you in 2016. I mean, 2016, what am I on? See, tiredness just gets to you, man. But yeah, JJ, see you in 2018. A year to put a potential year to look forward to. Hopefully, it should be a fresh start for us all. Let's just go into this new year with a new light. Just have a clean slate. 
and roll on 2018. Oh, come off it. I think I still could have landed on the side still, but... You know, I, landed, I landed in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, actually there is no specific time on there because this pla because obviously the sides don't even move, it's just... They're just static graphics that stay in one place. I don't know why I went bit bit there, like... Tiredness, man. And I got a party to go to as well. But yeah, grandparents were early, which is nice. More time for celebration. Oh god, I gotta move. I gotta move. But yeah. These lights. Wait, this Akaku mask does run out. It just depends. Whoa, okay, son of a bitch. No. Now I can't even see where I'm going. But you know, it doesn't even matter because I finished the level anyway. I finished the level. Oh, don't call me, I know. Okay, Jaws of Darkness. You know, I do not think I'll be going and fumbling in the dark. For fuck's sake, can you not talk while I'm doing this? Or if you're gonna talk, take it downstairs at least. Fucking hell, even on New Year's Eve, they can't even resist. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, have some respect. Have some respect for the live streamer in the house. Even at fucking hell, even at a time like this, they couldn't resist. Even at a time like this, these fucking mechanics couldn't fucking resist being re all re being all fucking retarded, and I couldn't even speak for shit today. Come on, like, quit taking the piss and actually make some progress here. I got a party to go to, so let's not fuck about. Cause, cause as soon as I. Because as soon as I'm gonna stop this live stream, I'm gonna upload it straight away. Just like I do with every live stream. But you know. Hurry up. Actually, no, I, I don't mind if people don't get to commentate, and if Alex joins, you'd only be here for like, what, 10 minutes? Considering I gotta go real soon as well. So, yeah, I might as well do the entire live stream solo. I might not, I might as well just not go for the blue gem path either. Well, okay, man. Fucking hell, the piss easiest shit you just waste my time with. Like, what the legit fuck? And yeah, I don't trust these mechanics. Yeah, I knew it. Like, it's just gonna be one of those things where as soon as I jump, like, it fucking goes up. That's why I hesitated just then. Like, that's why I hesitated at that moment. Like, just then. that path usually I would take it but because of these circumstances I have to skip a lot of shit now. 
You know, if only, like, if only I didn't have any of these technical issues, none of this shit would have even happened. But yeah, here I am. Like, behind. On where I've, on what I should have done ages ago. And yeah. I know there's a Cortex token in there, don't judge me. I know. I just want to get this over and done with, so I can celebrate New Year's Eve with my family. With La Familia. Got my La Familia. Got my family. Yeah, there's no point even going to that bonus round. Okay, well anyways. Yeah, as much as, you know, the rest of this live stream has to be rushed, I have less than 20 minutes now to beat the game in. Fuck, that's a lot of boxes. I really did break the bandicoot's back. Oh my god. Castle machinery. Here we go. The level I'm gonna skip. It's the level man's gonna skip because I do not have the time for it. No, I'm not gonna perform that life glitch either. It's just not worth it. A hidden gem. Uh, at this point, it's not worth it. Speed up the process, there we go. Okay, Dr. Nitrous Brio. It should be relatively easy. <clears throat> if not, piss takes would not surprise me in that case. Okay. Well, this live stream, I know for sure has been a half bust. Yeah, it's been a half bust, to be honest, but... It's still been a good live stream regardless. I mean, then again, it's 2017, like, I can just expect shit to be here, like, shit a year, sh like, shit events, shit, stuff happening to you, like, suppose it's appropriate in this occasion. I might not even do that glitch. You know when you walk on his head, it's risky. It's, I've done it before, but then... You know, I've still died multiple times. Like, even trying to perfect it. Even though I have perfected it before. But just bouncing his head. It's all I need to do. Take it slow. Yes, motherfucker! I made it! All in one go. Nitrous broken. Man, that was very fortunate. So, in that case, it was a good thing I didn't try the glitch. It's a good thing I played it safe this time round. The lab. And yeah, you could see Stormy Ascent up there, but clearly I'm not doing Stormy Ascent. <sighs> For this occasion, it's just gonna be too much. Just go through this level as fast as possible. No. 
Oh whoa. I was gonna say it twice and I'm not going for it again, but you know, it respawns me like right back to the beginning of the level, hence I don't have a checkpoint. Whoa, that was so close. Shit. And now I'm not going in the bonus round, even though I've unlocked it. Yeah, I'm just going to jump around this guy. It's just not worth my time. Because now I'm coming up to at least like 10 minutes. Till I have to go. So I better beat this and the Great Hall and Cortex like real fast. Oh for fuck's sake, I could have spanned him into the TNT, to the stack of TNT crates. But you know, he just wasn't facing that way at the time. It's just something I want to get out of the way. Okay, let's make a move. Yeah, it's just safe to be here. Don't even have the gem, so it don't even matter. Alright, let's leave. Let's speed this shit up. Only 12 boxes. That I missed. But yeah, I apologize for having to rush these people, but you know, circumstances are circumstances, and I can't help them. That's just, that's just life. Great hook piss easy. Only issue is Cortex really. Well it's not much of an issue either, but you know. Now I've literally got like eleven minutes. Or at least I've literally got ten minutes to beat Cortex in now. Man, just in a nick of time. Just in a nick of fucking time. Darn you, Crash it's like I wonder how they have to cut these things so close. <laughs> wow, like there was no way I could have avoided that. Darn you, Crash the level was too high. <laughs> like, I couldn't even jump over it or go under it. We're just pointless. There we go. First hit. Come on, this ain't difficult. What do I gotta say? This looks nice. This looks amazing with these 4K visuals. Hurry up, man. Come on, I can't afford to die a shit ton of times here. I've got 10 minutes to do this in. If anything, Alex is better off, like, still like, spending more time on his recording tests, because, you know, he's got a live stream to set up. But in the meantime, I, in the meantime, I might as well, like, do some tests of my own. Like, you know, in the new year. Like, with the old guard, so then I can actually get it up to scratch again, or at least try. And then I can actually get it working properly with OBS, like it's supposed to be as an actual device, and not just as a a window capture. That's just gonna end up crashing like shit. Whoa, okay, fucking hitboxes. Not just hitboxes, but fucking timing as well. Okay, now I've got nine minutes to beat Cortex under. Man, this is wasting valuable time. I gotta make this. Again, no one's commented since JJ's left, but I, at the same time, I can understand why. This is life. 
it's, this live stream towards the end is being, is being rushed because of a certain circumstance, so it's nothing no one can help. Man, I knew I wasn't gonna hit that, that's why I jumped over it. I clearly spun too early. I don't know how I missed that first one, but... Ah, that first one... It was just... In an awkward position. Whoa, I swear to fucking god I jumped over that shit. I still have 4 live viewers though, funnily enough. But yeah, those 4 live viewers, I hope you're still enjoying the live stream regardless of me having to rush it. Regardless of me having to rush gameplay. There they go again with their fireworks outside. New Year's Eve fireworks. Like New Year's fireworks altogether, essentially. It's effectively what it is. Okay, come on, two more hits. It can't be that hard. Well, it's literally not that hard. It's easy, oh yeah, and the way they space out that final shot. You know, it just makes it a bit harder. Okay, that's like the third or fourth time I missed that shit, okay. Now come on, surely you can't miss this one. What the fuck? You know I predicted that was gonna happen as well. Fucking piss tape. Come on man, I got a party to get to and now I only have under 6 minutes to beat this piece of shit. Boss fight. Well, Cortex ain't a piece of shit, he's a sick character, but still. Just the fact that, you know, I'm rushed. Like, it's, this is way too close for comfort right here. Like, within these circumstances, it's just way too close for comfort. Ah, uh, got ya. Oh god, I know! No, not yet. Yes, I have seen the time! I'm in the middle of something! Yes, I know! And I am getting ready. Fucking hell. Would you shut up? I'm in the middle of a live stream. And I'm trying to finish this. I'm so sorry about that, people. Fucking hell. Like, do not piss me off. I, I apologize for this, people. I really do. It's like five minutes, nothing. So I have some fucking respect. Anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna carry on. <sighs> Too much of a piss take. Come on. I gotta make this up. Come on, stop wasting my time! Jeez. 
I can't afford this right now. I seriously can't. Come on, that was a waste. If anything, I should have beat this first goal. But no, here I am. Just being fucked over by the shitty mechanics. Whoa! That was impossible to dodge. <sighs> Too bad. I'm not even pissed off at the fact that I'm trying to beat this. I'm pissed off at the fact that I'm doing this under a time constraint. Start say, we're well, not doing yourself any favors, are you? Like, not being funny. But it's true. Don't waste my time. Come on, man. I gotta make this. About fucking time. <sighs> Come finally relax now. Okay, people, that really puts an end to this part of the Happy New Year celebration live stream event that I have going on. Okay. Oh, there they go. Okay, I have no time for this. I gotta skip it. Anyways, people. It's now right on the clock. Man, they have to cut this shit so fucking close. And it amounts to over three hours and three minutes. Now, anyways, people. This is officially the live stream over for the happy for the New Year's Eve 2017 celebration live stream and I really hope that you all enjoyed this live stream and see you and probably see you lot in in the New Year's Day live stream tomorrow the New Year's Day 2000, 2018 live stream tomorrow if I can make it happen which I hope I can just later in the day anyways that's officially this live stream over and done with this is the last time ever that i'm live streaming in 2017 and we should we shall roll on into 2018 with a clean slate and a fresh start now that being done for those of you watching the live feel free to follow me on twitch for, the, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube in 2018, aka the new year. Then feel free and be sure to subscribe, like or rate, however you want to put it, comment below to leave feedback, and or share it around the friends and family, wherever they may be. And see you lot in another upcoming project, whenever it, it may happen on my channel. See you lot in 2018. Later, everyone. Peace out.